first begin by reading what is on the screen. A city, an Indian, the Ganga. Now here, a and the are all articles. So what is an article? An article gives more information about a noun and states whether it is specific or general. A and the are the three articles in the English language. Let us read both the sentences here. I ate a pizza today. I ate an ice cream today. Now here in the first sentence, I ate a pizza today, a refers to any pizza. It is referring to something general, not in particular. In the second sentence, I ate an ice cream today, and refers to any ice cream. So it is referring to ice cream in general, not any particular ice cream. So both a and an are indefinite articles. But what is the difference between a and an? A is used before a word that begins with a consonant sound whereas an is used before a word that begins with a vowel sound. So what are indefinite articles? Indefinite articles are used with singular countable nouns when the noun referred to is general or non-specific. Both a and an are indefinite articles. So what is the difference between a and an? A is used before words that begin with a consonant sound. For example, a quiz, a play, a helicopter, a university, a uniform, whereas an is used before words that begin with vowel sound. For example, an umbrella, an apartment, an operation, an R, an air. This is a boring story. This is an unusual story. Now in these sentences, boring and unusual are adjectives. So what do we see? In case of the first sentence, we have used a because our adjective begins with a consonant sound. In the second sentence, we have used an because our adjective begins with a vowel sound. So what do we see? That a or an depends on the word that is used just after it. For acronyms, the rules remain the same. So we say a CU student has complained about the politics there. A BA course will guide her in the correct direction, but an MA course is a difficult course. Now let us read both these sentences. I am reading a book. The book that I am reading now is very interesting. So here, the book is referring to the same book that I have mentioned earlier. So, when I say I am reading a book, a refers to any book. It is referring to a book in general, not to any particular book. But when I say the book that I am reading now is very interesting, the is referring to a particular book about the book that I have mentioned before. Hence, we are referring to a specific book. So, a is an indefinite article, but the is a definite article. I eat an apple daily. The apple that you gave me was very sweet. Now here, an refers to any apple, to an apple in general, not to any particular apple, but the refers to a particular apple, to a specific apple, the apple which was given to me. Hence, the is a definite article and an is an indefinite article. So, what are definite articles? Definite articles are used with either singular or plural, countable or uncountable nouns, 
when the noun referred to is specific. The is the only definite article in the English language. For example, the house, the car, the Titanic. So what is the difference between a definite article and an indefinite article? A definite article refers to a specific noun, whereas an indefinite article refers to a general or non-specific noun. The definite article is used for both countable, singular and plural, and uncountable nouns, whereas the indefinite article is used with singular, countable nouns. The is a definite article, whereas a and an are indefinite articles. The child is asleep. So here the is referring to a particular singular noun, whereas the children are asleep. Here, the is referring to a particular plural noun, children. Here we see the use of the with countable nouns. The information that you have is correct. We know that information is an uncountable noun. And when I use the, I am referring to a specific uncountable noun. So here we are seeing the use of the with an uncountable noun. Now, the is also used in special cases like the piano when we refer to a musical instrument in general, the Ganges when we are referring to names of rivers, seas or oceans, the Egyptians when we are referring to nationalities, the sun, we are talking about a particular heavenly body, the Alps when we are referring to names of mountains, the president when we are referring to an important post. Now let us do this exercise. Fill in the blanks with appropriate articles. I have dash hour and dash half for lunch time. Now here I'll be referring to something in specific or something in general. We are not referring to anything in particular or to anything specific. Hence we need to use Indefinite articles here. Now let us see. I have dash R. R is starting with a vowel sound. Hence we will use the indefinite article an. I have an R and dash half. Half is starting with a consonant sound. Hence we will use the indefinite article a. So we have I have an R and a half for lunch time. Fill in the blanks with appropriate articles. Dash earth looks beautiful from dash moon. Now here, earth is referring to something in specific. It is referring to a particular planet. Hence, we will use the definite article, the. So we have the earth looks beautiful from dash moon. Now moon also is a specific moon. We are talking about a particular heavenly body. Hence, we will say the earth looks beautiful from the moon. So today, we have revised our concepts about articles, what are definite articles and what are indefinite articles and how we use them in our sentences. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. 
you can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.